Hey everyone, it's Lisa here from Arcane and Stellar. This reading is going to be about what blessings are coming to you in 2020. So I know that many of us, I don't know, maybe it was just me, but I don't know. I had kind of a challenging 2019. It wasn't the easiest year for me. I had a lot of big changes, lots of drama. Even though I'm a very optimistic type of person, I can say looking back over the year that it was filled with <laughs> a lot of trouble. Although I did have, you know, some blessings. I have some people that care about me and I started my channel and that really has been a, a great blessing and a big, you know, hurdle that I've kind of gone over, um, you know, with confidence and all that stuff. So let's try to look on the bright side and see what could be coming up for us in 2020 that's going to be a blessing in our life and, you know, something that will be prominent that we'll look back at the end of next year and realize, oh man, you know, I had that happen and that was a great thing. So we have four piles, one, two, three, and four. And you can go ahead and pause the video at this point, you know, take a few deep breaths and try to see which pile draws you in. Um, if, you know, a particular number or stone or, you know, pile um, calls you in and you'll find the timestamps down below, guys. I'll see you all in your reading. Hey, so if you've chosen pile number one, this is going to be your reading. So what kind of blessings are coming for you in 2020? Let's find out. Ooh, ooh yes. Let me see what are your ooh, four of cups, 10 of cups, two of cups, king of cups. We also have once was innocent. I'll bring the oracle cards into focus as we talk about them. So I'm sorry that you can't see them right now. And then we have leap and as well we have moon, January, basket, cracked cup, crown. Okay, so right away, oh my gosh, there's a horrible glare. Okay, wait, hold on. Let me just move these over there. I guess my light is super strong. <laughs> so one of the things I noticed right away is that we have the four of cups along with the cracked cup. And both of them have a very similar message, dissatisfaction with life. And in this one, in, in Four of Cups, we see, you know, a woman sitting down with, you know, her legs crossed and kind of like in a negative mood with some, you know, not like over it, is in her shirt says over it. And there, I have a feeling that many of you might enter <clears throat> 2020 with kind of being a feel, feeling a bit dissatisfied with your life. You might just not like what life's been offering you lately. It might not have been interesting or engaging or it could have just been dissatisfying but one thing I'm seeing is that that's definitely going to change I feel like many of you are going to be in a much happier place in 2020 that's what I could say for sure um, right away we do have January so you might even start to see changes in January um, coming towards you but uh, it also could just be an indication that maybe you're born in January. Maybe this is just the confirmation that you need, um, you know, for the reading. So let me just see here. So I feel like that many of you have gotten to a point where okay, we have this King of Cups. And for some of you, this could be somebody coming into your life, but it could be an energy that you're coming into. The King of Cups is the most uh, mature of the suit. Um, so it's a, a mature emotions, calm emotions. You might be coming to a more emotionally stable place in your life in 2020 where you've maybe uh, you know grown a lot and you've kind of realized as well what you want, what you don't want. And with that four of cups with that over it, you might just be over what, you know, you've dealt with in the past um, in terms of, in I'm getting a lot of this is going to be based around relationships, okay? Um, it doesn't have to be romantic relationships. It could also be other relationships in your life. But I feel like you're going to be looking for meaningful connections. You're not going to be playing around 
with uh, connections that aren't, uh, you know, on that soul level, that don't make you feel good, that aren't supportive and equal. And uh, we have this once was innocent card. And it says knowledge means change. So in 2019, you might have had a lot of, you know, circumstances in your life that caused you to grow a lot, it, you know, in, in terms of your knowledge about what you want in life and what you don't what you don't want and once you have that knowledge though once you learn those lessons then you kind of know how to react better next time right so I feel like in 2020 you're going to have a uh, much better confidence because you're going to have more knowledge um, going forward so we have moon so we're going to have changes in life and I feel like th that's kind of a, a coming along with that that knowledge that you're going to be having um You'll be making the changes in your life to facilitate what you actually want. The things that you're over, you're not going to be really focusing on. I do see that you're going to have a happy family life and also happy friendships in 2020. So I think that's going to be probably the main theme for you in 2020 in terms of like what blessings are coming is that you're going to have very good relationships. Um, I think probably because you've already weeded out and you may continue this in 2020 and it might be actually even for some of you with this January, it might be like you're starting January with your, you know, you, new year, new you um, type of attitude. And you might be like, I'm not going to be screwing around with people anymore. You might have had negative attachments because we have this leap card. We have leap. You go first. The universe will catch you. And I almost feel like you might be like, you might have had some relationships where you felt like you needed these people or needed this person and what it, you know the message for you here is that you know sometimes you just have to like leap you know you have the knowledge now the next thing you do is just you know leap into it and don't worry the universe will catch you and I kind of feel like that's the changes you're going to be making um you might be like wanting to cut off um you know friend people that weren't really your friend or really there for you maybe relationships that weren't very good but also it could just be other behaviors as well that uh have held you back maybe you don't uh maybe you realized in 2019 that you know some of your behavior wasn't helping you cultivate friendships or relationships maybe you were hermiting a lot or not going out enough or maybe you've got some more insight into how you know you could make it a better year. And we have, so I do think that some of you are going to get some kind of recognition for something, uh, for sure. It could be recognition for, you know, maybe some of you are trying to manifest, you know, a happy family and a happy, you know, relationship. It could be that that's going to be the recognition that you get, that you're recognized kind of by the universe for, you know, the thoughts you're putting out there the vibes you're putting out there the intentions but I do feel like you are going to be rewarded in some way um in terms of what you've kind of harvested because like with this basket you see there's like a harvest so I feel like you've been you'll be harvesting I mean sorry you know, planting the seeds throughout the year and reaping the rewards as it goes on, sort of in terms of relationships, like I said. I do feel like, yeah, you're going to be very emotionally stable next year, uh, much more than maybe you were before. Because I do see like with that Four of Cups, that attitude of disinterest and maybe a bit of depression, uh, being a little bit fed up with what's going on around you especially in terms of, you know, emotional connections or things that light you up. But I do feel like, you know, that had to happen because, you know, it is, you know, teaching you something um, and giving you that knowledge so that you know what kind of you have to do to move on in a healthy way, in a happy way. So, like I said, to sum it up, I, I do feel like your biggest blessing in 2020 is going to be, like I said, a happy family life, um, it doesn't have to be with your, you know, the family. That's your blood. You know, friends can be family. It could be a soul family. But I definitely do see that, um, you know, the happy relationships. And yeah, for some of you, you may find love if that's what you're looking for. You might find a, a meaningful connection. For some of you, if you're not looking for love, you know, you're just going to have very good um, partnerships and friendships this year.
that this next year. And uh, yeah, that's what I see for you. So I hope that, you know, you have a wonderful 2020. I wish you all the very, very best and now lots of happiness and, you know, all your wishes come true. And I'll see you all in the next reading. Hello. So if you've chosen pile number two, this is going to be your reading. So what blessings are coming to you in 2020? Let's find out. So let's see. Boundaries. Story Keeper. Ten of Spells. Sunlight. The Enchanter's Wheel. And the Black Shuck. And then as well, we have vacation, news is on the way, excitement, boat, August. Okay, guys, let me just see. Oh my gosh, there are crumbs on my table. Wow, somebody's had some cookies around here. <laughs> okay, let's see, guys. So we have the 10 of spells starting off with the tarot. We have, um, like I said, um, I definitely feel like that many of you in 2019 felt a bit burdened. This may carry on into 2020, but the great news is that you have some major cards here and they're really positive actually. We have like with the sunlight card that the, it's the sun, which is like the most positive card in the tar tarot deck. Um, and we also have the wheel of fortune, which I find to be a great card. And we also have the black shuck. Okay, that's, you know, a little bit of a challenging card, but I think it's going to bring you a lot of great um, transformation in 2020. I think that's going to be one of the biggest um, things for you is transform, trans, transforming your life a bit in 2020, but it's going to be great. Um, let me see. So yeah, with that tennis spells, you may have felt a little bit worn out and yeah, burdened by something. You might have had a heavy load and you might feel like in the beginning of the year, as I said, that you have a heavy load on your shoulder. You might just be tired or overworked, depressed, maybe just not sure, you know, what's weighing down on you. You're not really, it's like you're just not sure about how you can keep going on the way that you're going on. For some of you, you may have to let something go in 2020, That, but when you do, it's going to really bring you a lot of happiness. But uh, for some of you with this that 10 of spells, we have boundaries. So it says, where do you need to establish better boundaries? That might be one of the lessons for you in 2020 that you're going to be really putting into action. Um, Cause that's really what 10 of spells is about, is about making boundaries and about, uh, you know, relinquishing con control sometimes. Um, and, and when I mean relinquishing control, that's kind of like when you're a workaholic, for instance, and you need to just slow the heck down and don't be afraid to ask for help, for instance. So you might need to make boundaries with yourself um, or with other people in your life that weigh you down. So that's going to be, you know, different for each person watching because this is a general reading, but I definitely see that that's going to be something that you're going to have to do. And I think you'll definitely accomplish it. Because we do have like that sunlight card and the enchanter's will. So there's definitely going to be some kind of change of fortune. For some of you, you might come into some money in 2020 because we have money or property through an inheritance, winning or windfall. So I would definitely remind you all like, you know, and encourage you all to play the lotteries maybe. Um, gamble a little bit from here to here. From, you know, not all the time, but like you might have better luck Um next year. You know, another way that you could do it if you don't like spending money on lottery tickets or scratch tickets, you could just enter giveaways. Um, because I do have a feeling that some of you guys could actually even win something great, like a vacation, but I definitely feel like you're going to be fairly lucky next year. Um, so I would definitely, you know, entering giveaways, take any chance you can to kind of, uh, try your luck, I guess you could say. Um, because you will have more, you know, chance of getting money or property through other, you know, weird ways like windfalls or um, an inheritance, for instance. But it is definitely going to be an exciting year. For some of you, though, it could just be like your highlight of the year, like the big blessing of your year is that you're going to take an amazing vacation. 
in August. For some of you, it could be in August. For some of you, you could have a birthday in August, but that doesn't have to be the case. Um, it could just be something great happens to you in August. But I do feel that I could say that many of you are going to be taking a vacation that's going to bring a lot of uh, happiness. It could be to a sunny place, but it doesn't have to be the case for all of you. Um, there is some kind of, ex oops, sorry, exciting news that you're going to be getting in 2020. It could be related to this money, I'm guessing. And then I wanted to say for some of you, we have Story Keeper. Tell your story, legacy, write your wisdom. So for some of you, you might really, um, one of the things that could bring you a blessing in your life is to really start um, sharing your story. Um, it doesn't have to be that you write like a memoir. It could be just like starting a blog or a vlog or sharing yourself in some way with other people, sharing your wisdom, what you know with other people. And that could really actually bring you a lot of happiness. It also could be if you have had something that's really burdened you in 2019 that you've gotten over or you're trying to get over, it could be that you start sharing with other people and that could actually even help with this um, you know, change that you're going through. It might help you to facilitate that change. You know, with the, this in particular is about making, uh, you know, having peace with an ending. So I feel like whatever does end in 2020, it's going to be a peaceful end. It's going to be something that you accept and you realize that you need to get rid of it to make way for the, the more positive things. Um, for some of you, it might have felt like your wheel of for your wheel of fortune, your enchanter's wheel was a little bit stuck. Um, things just didn't seem to be moving forward, or nothing good kind of kept you know seemed to come your way. But I do feel like you're going to be able to get out of that energy. Like I said, for some of you, it could be through you know sharing yourself a little bit more with other people. It could be that some of you want to start a YouTube channel or you know, a vlog or something else like that. Could be that you want to write down some knowledge that you have or even, you know, writing a book. But uh, I think that would be greatly encouraged for some of you, um, for sure. You know, this is a general reading, so maybe this doesn't apply to you, but um, for a portion of you watching, this will um, hit home with you. So generally, I'm just going to give you an overview real quick because I want to keep this short and sweet. Boundaries are going to be a big thing that you're going to be establishing in 2020, okay? And it's going to bring you a lot of happiness. It's going to kind of be like the light's finally shining on you and you finally got through the toughest moments. And I feel like you are going to have a lot of, you know, good luck. Um, definitely some big transformation. Um, you're going to let parts of you that you didn't like or things in your life that you didn't like kind of, uh, you know, pass away and, and leave your life. Um, yeah, like I said, I think you're going to have some exciting news. Um, could be in August. I do feel like, yeah, with money, there's going to be something about money that comes to you and it might not be something that you've worked for per se. It's going to come to you in a different type of way. And then I feel like that many of you will have an awesome vacation. That's going to be pretty exciting. So I feel like, yeah, overall great year for you. I mean, you'll have some good blessings. I mean, I know this video is about the positive things, so <laughs> I guess that's fitting, but yeah, definitely some really positive things to look forward to group two. So thank you guys for watching and I'll see you all in the next video. Hey, pile number three, this is your reading. Let's see what kind of blessings are coming to you in 2020. Let's see. Oh my goodness. Get grounded. Little boy blue. Ten of air, a chariot, ace of air, and the fool. Let's see here. Flag, rainbow, dagger, great fortune, and October. Okay, I'm sorry you can't see all of these cards. I'll t I'll bring them into the into the camera view as we move along. 
into the reading. Okay, definitely right away I see the Ten of Air. So the Ten of Air is like the Ten of Swords. And definitely I feel like you've had some challenges in 2019. And they may, you know, reach their final point in 2020. But you're definitely... The great thing about the Ten is that it can't get any worse. So it's learning how to like let go and just you know, let something new start. And we have Ace of Air. So definitely there's going to be a transition in terms of something that's been a conflict in your life, something that's really hurt. If there's been a betrayal, you're finally going to get over it and move on. And uh, you might see a lot of uh, synchronicities here in, in um, 2020 because, you know, this card, uh, Ace of Air, can talk about synchronicities. But there are definitely going to be some new thoughts coming in, new pat, uh, maybe uh, breaking old patterns, thought patterns, and you know, releasing them and starting new thought patterns. I definitely feel like you're going to have a definite victory here with the chariot, because that's really what this card is about. And of course, we have the fool. So I mean, definitely lots of new beginnings and a lot of drive to ha make these begin beginnings happen. So even if you felt maybe a bit stagnant and it was been it's been hard to release and pick yourself up from the pain you've kind of been through, um, you know, like I'm not going to go into any details on what the pain could be because I feel like for everyone it's going to be different. This is a general reading. So it could have been, you know, work pain or emotional, like relationships or a betrayal of some kind or, you know, really anything in your life that's been really painful for you. That's really going to be, or if even you've had some obstacles as well, I want to say, you're going to really charge past it. We have a lot of great movement cards over here. So I definitely feel like you're, it's, it's a time where you're going to be moving forward a lot. And we have, see, we have rainbow. So the most difficult part of a situation is over. And that's kind of what, the, yeah, like that's exactly actually what the 10 of air is about. It's like, it can't get any worse than this. Like now you just got to let it go <laughs> and uh, move forward. So definitely a lot of forward movement for you in terms of, you know, any difficult situations you've been going through. We have fears, wor fear, worries, intense situations. So that's kind of what I'm, I'm getting that you're saying goodbye, f uh, goodbye to what you're going to be moving on from. Um, for sure. And then we have great good fortune. So definitely you're going to have a fortunate year, a lot of fortune, um, a lot of good blessings. And here, let me see. For some of you, you might see a lot of these blessings coming in in October. So for sure, you'll know by 2020 of October, I think that you'll definitely be in a much better place. And then I have some messages here for you. Let me just get, I'm going to do this. Sorry. Little Boy Blue. So dreams come true in Return of the Soul. So I definitely think that that's a, a beautiful card to get with the Fool. Definitely in a childlike energy. I definitely see new beginnings here for you. For sure. Where you, you will be working towards making your dreams come true. And like with that Return of the Soul, it's very beautiful because it's like, I feel like you may have felt like your, you know, your soul was damaged in some way. And it's just going to be totally, you're going to have some definite mental transformations in terms of how you're thinking in 2020. So, ah, my finger <laughs> did not want to move. <laughs> Get grounded. So empaths, highly sensitive, connect with nature. For some of you, you could be a very empathetic person, okay? You might be an empath or you might just be very sensitive to what goes on around you. It could be that this is connected to, you know, what has hurt you in the past. And I think one of the lessons that I'm seeing here or one of the advices that I'm seeing here for you is we have flag. Don't be attempted to lower your standards. If there are people or things in your life that cause you, you know, fear, worry, or tense situations. I feel like you're a very sensitive person and you can't handle this very well. And one of the things that you need to do is let go of this. Like, let go of the things that are hurting you or really bothering you. Um, and, you know, when you when you start to keep those standards up <clears throat> and, and not lower them, I feel like that's when it's really going to, like, 
kick in. And I feel like you'll you'll reach a breaking point in 2020 to where you really, and you may not even see it now. You might be like, well, I'm already doing that. There might be an epiphany that you have where you really see that you do need to take action, that maybe you hadn't seen it previously, but your eyes are open in some way um, to what's really bothering you. And I feel like that's really what it's going to be for you guys in 2020. So, definite growth for you. I mean, I think that out of all the piles, you guys got the most, um, well, no, pile number two had a lot of major arcana, but you also have two major arcana cards here. And that means that, you know, it's a huge theme. It's going to be something that stretches over the year. It's not going to be necessarily an individual event, okay? So, I think it's going to be a theme for you in a way. But the theme, I, I mean, I really feel like this is going to bring you a lot of new beginnings and letting go of things that, <clears throat> you know, aren't making you feel good. So, I hope you enjoyed that and I'll see you all in the next reading. Hey, so if you've chosen pile number four, this is your reading. So let's see what's coming up for you guys in 2020. What kind of blessings and good things are coming your way? Okay, I'll start with the tarot. Man, we have some new beginnings here. Ace of Wands, Page of Wands, Ace of Cups, and then Nine of Wands. Ooh, oh wait, let me see. Can you actually see those? I'm trying to, I need a bigger table. Let's see here. Okay, definitely a playful year for you guys right away. I have that very like excitable energy of the aces and the page of wands. And then we have play, have fun, celebrate, don't be so serious. So definitely I feel like you're going to, one of your blessings is that you're really going to have a lot of fun in 2020. A lot of good times. And we have um, pleasure with the close friend. So I feel like that many of you are going to just, you if you don't already have a close friend, if you have a close friend already, you're definitely going to spend more time with this person and have some really good times. We also have, yeah, happiness and well-being. So definitely. For some of you, this could be a new friend because we have a, a meeting with a stranger could be important. So it could be that you actually come across a stranger in your life and, you know, and, and it ends up being a really good friend. And then, okay, I want to, I want to get into some other messages I'm seeing here. I really feel like somebody in your life, you're going to have someone come into your life. Um, or if you, it might be somebody that's already in your life. Sorry. For some of you, it might be a new person. For some of it, some of you, it might be a friend you already have. But I feel like you guys are going to have a lot of great ideas and beginnings in 2020 um for some of you this could be new creative projects it could be new relationships but whatever it is it's going to definitely make you very excited excited about life but one of the things that i want to say is that okay the page of wands if you don't if you can't see that already in the card is very like ecstatic he's you know really excited to be on his little journey and he's full of like excitement and oftentimes when we get excited about something you know we can't wait to share it with others and I'm one of those people <laughs> I'm definitely one of those people and uh, I think one of the things that you should do this is I know this isn't exactly an advice reading but uh, just one thing I'm getting is that you're going to have someone special in your life in 2020 that's really going to be there for you. Because, okay, here we go. We have two oracle cards that came out. And we have Carry Me Home and Keeper of Secrets. So what I want to say here as the kind of, not warning, but just something to look for with that page of wands, you might have something that you're super, super excited about. You're fired up and ready to go. Um... We have use your discernment, confide in a trusted friend, and keep silent about knowledge. And you have good advice from a wise person. I feel like there's somebody in your life that's going to give you some advice. 
about whatever this is, whatever you're going to start. Maybe you have a business idea or you have something that you really want to do. Um, could be moving. It could be really anything in your life, but it's going to be something that really lights you up and you really just want to talk about it. I feel like, and this could be even my own advice I'm giving you, is kind of keep 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 your secrets to yourself. Um, if you feel like you have negative people around that are just going to, you know, kind of rain on your parade about your ideas, please, you know, try to trust the people that you know lift you up, okay? That's kind of what I'm saying. And I feel like you're going to, if you don't already have a person like that in your life, you're going to be meeting this person in 2020, somebody that will really, you know, be there for you. Because we also, by the way, in, in terms of what I was just saying, before we have cobweb so protected from negative forces beyond your control and that's kind of what i've got here nine of wands you need to be a little bit more guarded um instead of too open i feel like that that's something that you're going to develop in 2020 is being a little bit more guarded and not necessarily in a way where you're blocking everyone out but you're just being a little bit more careful with with yourself a little bit more careful with your heart with your passions And then we have carry me home. So support, time to be carried, allow others to help. I feel like for some of you, you might have a romantic connection come in 2020. I get from this card. But nevertheless, it'll be a very good friend that's there for you. And hmm, one second, I was just having a thought here, but. Yeah, for some of you, I feel like if you have been in a relationship where things have been quiet or secretive, it might be able to come out in the open this year. Like, maybe you'll be more open about it. I think that's just for some of you, though, okay? That's not for most of you. Um, if that just, you know, relates to you. But, um... Yeah, I definitely feel like that you guys are going to be getting some people in your life that will really be supportive of you. And like I said, I think one of the biggest things is that you you are going to be protected from negative forces beyond your control. But I feel like that that partially is a need for you, you know, to be discerning, which I think will be easier once this person or you, you know, realize kind of who you can trust and who you can't. I mean, I've had things like that where I was so excited about something and, you know, people were negative about it. I'm, I always have ideas, by the way. I'm like, I have a business idea right now that I'm like super excited about. It's not related to this channel or anything like that. It's totally separate. But, you know, I, I try to be more careful because in the past I've, I've done that often where I've told people oh, I'm going to write a book, or I'm going to do this, or I'm going to do that. I'm always full of ideas because, you know, I'm like all fire. <laughs> so I'm always full of the ideas. But, you know, and then I end up not falling through with it. Or, But oftentimes why I don't fall through with it is because I'll talk to somebody that just really puts me down. <laughs> or doesn't necessarily, like, say you're stupid, but they just have, like, negative vibes, right? So, for some of you, too, like, you might need to drop the defenses a little bit, but not like, or at least establish healthier defenses, okay? For some of you, if you've been way too blocked off from other people, then I feel like one of the things that you need to do this year is like to play a little bit more, to get more open. <coughs> but definitely, and maybe your discernment will become a little bit more mm, balanced, okay? Because... You don't want to be too open, but you don't want to be too closed either, right? Because I'm usually too closed, except for about my ideas. I tell everybody those. And then, and then, and then, yeah, and then it puts pressure on me. Or somebody has a lot of negative things to say about it or negative vibes, and then, then I get discouraged. <laughs> but, yeah, I see that for you guys in 2020. So I definitely feel like you're going to have something great coming into your life, and you're going to be super excited about it. Like I said, for some of you, it could be a new relationship, could be a new job, new idea, a new creative idea, a new creative endeavor, a new hobby. 
<clears throat> but I definitely feel like, yes, definitely tackle it with enthusiasm, like for real, like go after it. But I really feel like you're going to have a good friend this year, though. That's, like, the main thing. There's definitely going to be a good friendship or a relationship for you this year. Yeah, if it's not, you know, if maybe you already have a love relationship, it might not be that person. It might be somebody else that comes into your life. But, yeah, so I hope that I helped you, you know, in some way, you know, and you have a great and wonderful 2020. And wishing you all the very, very best, and I'll see you all in the next video. Take care, guys.